Hey, what's up guys, Aaron here. So in this video, I wanna talk about what's happening with the price of Bitcoin, especially altcoins, especially with the news that everybody has heard. Basically, we are heading into possibly another world war, I don't know. Israel's military said Iran launched about 170 drones, 30 cruise missiles, 120 ballistic missiles. So we saw a huge, huge sell-off today. We actually came up a little bit on the price of Bitcoin. It's actually holding up a lot better than I thought. We saw this insane drop from 67 down to like 61. And we've come up a little bit since then. So I want to talk about how am I approaching this? What am I looking for? And what am I doing right now? A couple altcoins happen to be up, but most altcoins, especially meme coins, are severely down for the day. So there are a couple bearish charts out there. This one from Ben Cowan, showing that we may see a little bit lower, just having to do with the Fed and rate cuts. Here we have Bitcoin is down 16% from the all-time highs, but this is so far a normal drop in price. In a few videos ago, I talked about this short-term holder cost basis at $57,500, that it really wouldn't be uncommon for us to touch this line, which we didn't. We didn't today. Now, what happens on Monday when the stock market opens, when people that hold Bitcoin ETFs, when they're able to trade them, what happens then? So that's actually a benefit of iTrust Capital, ironically, just thinking off the top of my head, is that if you have a retirement account there, you could buy and sell 24 seven, right? You don't have to wait for the stock market to open. And in another previous video, a few weeks ago, I talked about how I am not buying altcoins right now. A lot of YouTubers have really, or they really got caught up in this insane hysteria regarding altcoins and meme coins. And I'm sure you've seen some of these videos like 10 coins to make you rich in 2024, five coins that'll go 100x, all that kind of stuff. Now, trust me, if I made videos like that, I would have a larger following on YouTube. But again, a few weeks ago, I said, I'm not buying coins right now. There's way, way too much euphoria right now in the marketplace and that I would be putting in limit orders for lower prices. Well, this could be a good time to buy some coins. If there are some coins that you want to buy that you haven't picked up yet. Now, if we go into a full-blown World War III, how would that affect crypto prices? I mean, who knows? We saw with the Russia-Ukraine war that prices took a dip, but then the market rallied like never before and the stock market hit all-time highs, right? So realistically, short-term, a hell of a lot of volatility. Long-term, I think Bitcoin will always and more and more be seen as a flight to safety, especially if they begin to print a lot more dollars to fund a war. Now, wars are horrible, and I do not want that to happen. I have relatives that live in Israel, for those of you guys that care. So this is terrifying. I mean, this is a horrible, horrible situation. But in terms of investing, we are seeing a lot of deals over the last 24 hours here for different types of categories. Right here, let's take a look at base meme coins. I mean, if the market rallies again, will meme coins rally? Probably. We are seeing Brett and Dgen down 12%, 10%, Dgen down 28% over the last seven days. Now, could these keep going down? Yeah, they could keep going down. I mean, my thought with meme coins and smaller alt cap coins, really that should be a very, very small percent of your bag. And one of the main reasons for that is because of Bitcoin dominance, which continues to go higher because Bitcoin is seen as a flight to safety. If everything's falling apart, do you want Bitcoin or do you want Pepe? And I think the answer is pretty obvious. One has an ETF and one is a silly little picture of a frog or a dog with a hat. So right now with this threat of war and with Iran going after Israel or whatever's happening, people are wanting more Bitcoin and the Bitcoin dominance definitely has gone up over the last couple of days and even today. So invest in meme coins at your own risk, invest in small cap speculative coins at your own risk. But if you think that the market is going to rebound, there are a lot of coins that are on sale right now. There are coins that are on sale. Now, again, I'm not going to tell you to buy these because I think they're incredibly risky. You could have a core bag of just Bitcoin, ETH, Bitcoin, ETH, Solana, add a couple others if you want, or you could just have Bitcoin. So at the end of the day, guys, it does suck when your net worth goes down, when the amount of dollars that your crypto is worth goes down. It sucks. 
one thing that I am getting better at doing is not looking at the US dollar of my holdings. Bitcoin is a scarce asset. We know this. Bitcoin is a scarce asset. US dollars are not a scarce asset. So it's really time if you got freaked out by today's dip to look at how much, if you like Bitcoin, how much Bitcoin you actually have. Do you have half a Bitcoin and you want to build it up to one Bitcoin? Do you have one Bitcoin and you want to build that up to two or two and you really want to grow that to five rather than looking at, oh man, it's worth less dollars. Because again, scarce asset Bitcoin, not scarce asset US dollars. And if you're bullish on another coin, look at it in terms of how many coins you're holding. And if you want to grow your stack, look, they're on sale right now. Solana's on sale. Look, Dogecoin is on sale if you really want Dogecoin. ADA, Avalanche, Polkadot, Chainlink, Matic, they're all on sale today. And just to remember, bull markets, we see Bitcoin drop 10, 20, 30%, and that's normal. So even if Bitcoin drops more, really, I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned because if we go into some big war and conflict, Bitcoin is safety. Bitcoin is safety. And eventually people will realize that more and more, especially as just more and more people become educated about what Bitcoin is. I think most people still have no idea what Bitcoin is and really what it represents. And people don't know that Bitcoin is scarce and the US dollar or any fiat currency is not scarce. Just looking over the last month, I mean, we got basically news today that Iran is in conflict with Israel, which is a huge deal. And we saw a dip today that mirrors just normal bull market dips. And take a look at the last three months. Just three months ago, we were at around $38,000 of Bitcoin. So we had this insane rise and now we're seeing choppy movements. And again, the news today or yesterday definitely freaked the markets out. And that's normal. I mean, that's appropriate. But I am not concerned about this. Even if Bitcoin goes down, you know, you really have to just like not get emotionally attached to the price, especially of something that is scarce and something that you believe in for the long term. If you're a trader and you're trying to sell the top and buy the bottom and you're looking at daily candles or even like four hour candles or whatever, you know what? Have at it. That's not what I'm doing here. It's best to not freak out about the US dollar price, realize that there will be volatility, especially if there is major international conflict that may include the US and just keep holding holding on, keep stacking if you want to grow your stack and just ride it out. So that's basically it, guys. Just wanted to come on here and say something about how I'm feeling about this. Global war and conflict is really, really, really scary and very, very sad. And anybody that's caught in the crossfire, it's just horrible. But a lot of people want to know, well, how will this affect my altcoins or my Bitcoin stack? For altcoins, we may see Bitcoin dominance go up. And if Bitcoin dominance goes up, altcoins are going to crash. Eventually, I believe altcoins will have their rise, especially if the market begins to kind of go into its next phase of the bull market. Now may be a good time to buy some altcoins. It may not be, though. We could easily see another 20, 30 percent drop if there is more volatility and Bitcoin dominance goes up and there's a higher flight to safety. So it's just hard to predict. If you're a trader, that's rough. Don't take leverage, buy spot, don't get liquidated or any of that crap. And if you want to play around with altcoins and meme coins, we can see how quickly they can drop 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% in a day. So guys, I'll be coming at you with more information about everything I'm doing soon. You can tell I'm actually uh, in my van right now. So I'll probably be making more van life content or just like me recording in my van uh, in the near future. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. A lot more people are getting their Celsius payouts. I know a lot of people still haven't, but a lot more people are, so that's good. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, talk with you soon, and bye for now.